Good morning. Tough conversations. We have a joke at the office, they call me the director of tough conversations because I love to have tough conversations. But they don't always have to be tough and you shouldn't go looking for them. This is an interesting article from the Oxley Institute. A tough conversation between advisor and CPA. I'd like to know when there isn't a tough conversation between advisor and CPA. The way we do things, there's not because it's friendships and relationships, but the rest of the world down Broadway in our profession is a really tough conversation. It's interesting, they're, this, they're big on referrals. They're big on teaching you how to te develop a relationship with your CPA so the CPA will refer you business. That's what they're, and they're good at it. That's great. And if that's the path you want to go to, so be it. But it's interesting what it says here, and I, I love this. I've, I've sent the CPA three referrals and taken them to lunch five times, but I'm, getting, but I'm not getting anything in return. Ching. I get it. That's normal. You can either regroup with existing partners in hopes you can get more from them, or you can hunt for new partners and start the process from scratch. Okay. That's what I want to do. I want to start over. That, that helps me really get the ball rolling. This one is great. These are ways of rapport building. I'm reading it. I didn't write it. Okay. It says, developing a personal connection with CPAs is of paramount importance. Stop there, and I'm on with you 100%. But they keep going on. You, you use your regroup meetings to start the process of getting to know each other. And one of the things they say is, hey, when you see him, talk to him about his kids, talk to him about what he does, what he's done in college, and then say to him, you're in good shape. What do you do for exercise? What? You're in good shape. What do you do for exercise? I, I, you know what? I could go on and on, and I'm not even sure what to say here. Uh, ask, I mean... It's crazy. They're teaching you how to develop relationships by developing rapport. It's something we're all born with. We're all born with the DNA to be relational. We're relational people. We're in this profession of doing that. And so what they want is they say, hey, build a relationship with the CPA so he'll refer you his best clients. What I want to know is do you understand really what that message is? What the message you're truly sending him? Because here's the message. What you're saying is you want him to tell his best client that I am unqualified, I am not capable of working with you and doing everything you need unless you work with Bill over here that I just met for lunch and told me I work out at the gym. And Bill and I got together and Bill does some good stuff and you're going to work with Bill because I can't take care of you. That's the message you're trying to tell him to say. That's Main Street. That's what, that's what all these CPA programs that want referrals is doing. I mean, would you want somebody telling that about you to your best client? Is that the message you'd want out there? Oh, Jimmy can't take care of you, so he's going to have to get Billy to help. Nobody wants that. What you really need to do is develop a relationship with the CPA where you help him win, where you help him look better, more valuable. All this does is take away from his value footprint. This is like, well, if all you are is a conduit to Billy, anybody can get me Billy. I can get my taxes done anywhere and still work with Billy. What good is that? No. You want his best clients to feel like, wow, without you, I'd be lost, Mr. CPA. You're the man I trust the most. And I don't care why, I trust you. And then help that CPA be amazing. So that in his best client's eyes, he looks amazing. Why would you ever send any other message than that? I mean, if I'm a CPA, of course, tough conversations. This is a tough conversation. Hi, Mr. CPA, I wanna work with you. Because ultimately, what I want you to tell your clients is you're unqualified. I'd like you to tell your best clients you're unqualified. That's a tough conversation. That's not a conversation I'm going to have. I'm going to sit down with a potential CPA and say, hey, tell me about your practice. Tell me what you're doing. Tell me what your best clients are doing and how you're servicing them and where the inefficiencies are. And let's talk about how I can help you fill those gaps so that when your best client and you get together, he looks at you and says, oh, my CPA's really got his stuff together. This guy's amazing and I'd be lost without him. That's the kind of conversation I want to have. That's not a tough conversation. That's being in a relationship. That's developing a relationship. I could care where he works out at. That doesn't mean anything to me. What means something to me is that by working with me, your clients are taken care of better and think you're great. See, true greatness doesn't come by elevating yourself. True greatness comes from elevating others. Take that to the bank. Have a great day.